instructional video on how to apply general use insecticide. Now that you've read the instructions and know how much to mix with a gallon of water, it's going to be time to apply the product. We have our one gallon sprayer right here. First thing you want to do is fill up the sprayer halfway with water. Now if you have this type of bottle with this type of reservoir on the side, then as you notice there's a straw that comes up on the bottom. All you have to do is squeeze the bottle and if inside the straw you'll see the liquid go up the straw into the reservoir. Fill it, up, fill it up to the line that you need. Take the top off on the left hand side and then you can pour it right in your gallon of water. After reading the instructions, we've already found that for this particular product, it's about an ounce per gallon. We measured it in our reservoir. Take the top off and pour it into the water. Put the lid to the sprayer back on. Turn it so it's tight. Now you're going to want to shake it up. It's a lot easier for the product to mix properly in only a half gallon of water instead of filling the sprayer up all the way. Now you can fill the rest of the sprayer up to the gallon mark. You want to leave a little space at the top of your sprayer. You don't want to fill it all the way up or else there won't be any room for the air inside. Let's put the lid back on. Pump the handle a few times, and if it's full, you only need a few pumps for the pressure to build up. Now we're ready to go. Now most sprayers come with an adjustable nozzle. Turn it one way, and it will shoot a pin stream. And that's going to be mainly for inside cracks and crevices or where pipes go into the house. If you turn it the other way, it's going to do more of a fan spray. This is what you're going to want to use around the house to treat the perimeter. You're going to start off by treating around the perimeter. We're going to start at the front door and just go right across the front stoop. Across the window sill. So the general rule of thumb when you're applying a general use pesticide is to go two feet up and two feet out, typically. You want to get a good wide barrier for the bugs to crawl over. So we're going to spray about two feet up onto the house and a non-stop barrier two feet out. You're going to do this all around the house and give yourself a good protective barrier for bugs to walk over. Now if you have AC lines or pipes or wires again going into the house you want to treat it around those really well. You might need to turn your sprayer upside down to get up under any vents such as this one. Across the threshold of the garage is a really important area, easy place for bugs to get in. Going to spray right across there. You can also treat the inside perimeter of your garage. Just work your way around the perimeter just like you would outside. Now there are some things that you can do around your house to keep bugs away that don't have anything to do with spraying. You always want to make sure that shrubs are cut away from the house. If a shrub is touching the house, then ants and other bugs can crawl up the bush and onto the house and bypass the barrier you sprayed down below. So it's real important to keep this gap. Insects are attracted to moisture areas and if you have a lot of ground cover right up against the house, You'll see below, there's a lot of moisture. It's always a good idea that when you put down new ground cover every spring, you should remove the old mulch or pine straw that you had. And that way you don't get a bunch of organic buildup near the house. But it's always a good idea that once you do apply it, that you keep the pine straw about six inches away from the house and leave a gap so the ground can dry and you won't have a wet a decomposing mulch right up against the house. Now a lot of our products can be used indoors. We really only recommend you treat indoors if you have a problem. 99% of pests come from outside, so the outside barrier is really the most important. All of our products that are labeled to use indoors are very safe and very safe to use around children and pets as long as you follow the instructions and apply the product correctly. Typically a good practice is to have your children and pets leave the room, take them outside while someone's applying the product. 
and then once it dries, perfectly safe to have them come back into the room. Now we're going to show you a few key areas to treat indoors, but you do want to minimize where you treat inside. You don't want to spray all over the house, all over the floors. You just want to hit cracks and crevices and the hiding places that insects like to be. You do want to hit window sills and doors inside. You want to treat underneath appliances. You can treat underneath dryers and washers in the washroom and also behind the washer and dryer. Now your bathroom is one of the most common places to find insects because of the moisture. So behind the toilet is a really good area. And also where the pipes go into the wall, slide this cover back and direct your sprayer right into the wall opening. Now here we're underneath the sink. Here's a great shot of where pipes go into the walls in this large opening. Perfect place for insects to crawl in and out from the wall. So you can just direct the spray right into the wall void.